Well, as we, we know, Air Force capabilities are in high demand. And the mission around the world is really requiring our airmen to be innovative and adapt their capabilities to meet the operational challenges. And as they do that, we in Air Force Medicine must adapt with them. Our focal point for that is at the 7-Eleventh Human Performance Wing at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And they work within the Air Force Research Lab to conduct a variety of human performance related research and, and actually develop products that can be transitioned into the operational environment. And so they've been doing a great deal of work on oxygen systems in, in the uh, new generation of fighter aircraft. Also uh, techniques for measuring and uh, assessing visual performance. Uh, the new generation of fighter aircraft use some very advanced uh, displays for the pilot. We've learned a great deal from the last 15 years of war and, uh, and we've really learned those lessons as part of a joint team. Vascular surgery is a specialty that uh, prior to these last 15 years of war uh, we would not have really deployed. Our service member would not, would not have uh, come under the care of a vascular surgeon until they had returned to a medical center in the U.S. They have the ability to repair major blood vessel injuries uh, that previously would have resulted in an amputation in the field hospital setting and actually restore blood flow by using advanced techniques uh, and, uh, and thereby enabling the salvage of a limb. We are very active participants in a DOD-wide and a VA effort to uh, identify the best evidence-based uh, treatments uh, for uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and for traumatic brain injury. And so there is a very active research program in the Department of Defense. The Defense Health Program uh, had uh, $126 million uh, budgeted through a congressional uh, appropriation in uh, 2016, fiscal year 16. Uh, for this purpose and so the Air Force is actively participating in a number of uh, research projects to identify new and better ways to, uh, to manage uh, PTSD in particular. Maintaining our readiness and continuing to support operational medicine uh, really doesn't allow us to ever transmit to what we would consider a peacetime setting. Uh, we work day to day to balance operational support, our deployed operations and our provision of day-to-day health care and maintain the right balance. The commanders of our hospitals and clinics uh, work day-to-day -to, -day to ensure that those three main phases of our mission uh, are all given appropriate priority.